Buckle up, I've got some big climate action news for you. Two weeks ago, a new report was released that lays out a route for Canada to meet its net zero goals by 2050. And let me tell you, this report is pretty revealing. So let's get down to it. This is a policy perspective on what's actually needed to chart a realistic path towards a climate safe future in Canada, which we love to see. And it lays out a deep dive of the challenges and pitfalls that we need to avoid. So come on, we're gonna check out three of the report's key takeaways together. Number one, a net zero report released in 2023 by the federal government overestimated how much climate pollution could be reduced by using carbon capture and storage technology. So now the federal government relies on these assumptions to justify building new LNG terminals and pipelines. Unsurprisingly, this is not realistic. Any route to a climate safe future means phasing out oil and gas expansion. Number two, we will need to rely more on electricity to compensate for reduced fossil fuel use, which will result in renewable energy generation. Number three, and this one might shock you, on a per capita basis, Canadians consume 4.9 times as much energy as the world average and emit three times the world average for emissions. To meet our net zero targets, we need to get more efficient with our energy usage and reduce energy consumption at all levels. We know that communities and countries across the world are facing the impacts of climate change. From worsening wildfire seasons to landslides to droughts to floods, it's clear that what we've been doing isn't going to cut it. But it's not too late to turn things around. With these kinds of reports, we can see how we need to course correct to stabilize the climate. It will require large changes, but it's not impossible if we work together across all levels of government, including respectfully collaborating with Indigenous communities, nations, and industries across the country. The good news is that the solutions already exist. Just think back to a couple of weeks ago when the U.S. paused new building on LNG export terminals. And there has recently been a huge boom in clean energy worldwide. Here at Sierra Club, we plan to keep releasing hard-hitting reports and holding decision makers accountable so that our kids and our grandkids can live a healthy, life-sustaining future. So come along for the ride, join the club, and stay tuned for more climate action updates.